All right, well, welcome, welcome everyone. I'm so glad that you joined us today for our class. Uh, we are going to be meeting here in Zoom, but we're also gonna be working on our lesson in Smart Learning Suite online. So just like we've done before, if you can open up it, a second tab, if you're looking at Zoom in your web browser, please open up a second tab. So you would come up to maybe the plus sign and add a second tab and go to hellosmart.com. If you're using the Zoom app, just go ahead and open up just a, a browser window and go to hellosmart.com. Please sign in using your school email address so your work is gonna save today. And then our class ID is 12770. I know we have nine people in our class this morning and I see nine people signed in over here. So thank you all so much for joining the class and we're gonna keep going. All right. So yesterday, I know we started a new topic. We introduced a new topic in your lesson yesterday while you were working um, at home. And so I wanna just take a moment now to check in and see how you feel about yesterday's lesson. I'm gonna start this uh, response poll. And what I'm gonna ask you to do, um, you have your two tabs right now. So if you wanna go into your Hello Smart tab and answer, how do you feel about yesterday's lesson? You're totally getting it. Maybe you have some questions or you're still kind of confused. Then once you answer and you submit, go ahead and come on back into the Zoom tab so we can see as a group how we're feeling about yesterday's lesson. Um, it looks like many of us, about six of us, mostly understand but still have some questions. So, you know, that's a good indication um, to me that maybe we're gonna come back to that topic and we'll spend a little bit more time on it. But, you know, later I'll, I'll look at the results and if I need to touch base with you on this uh, lesson from yesterday, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Um, but yeah, it looks like maybe we'll spend a little bit more time on that today. So I do wanna ask, you to give me just a little bit more information on how your learning went yesterday so we can uh, touch touch base here on on you know how your lesson went so i'm going to go ahead and turn your page again and what you're going to notice if you're looking at my screen here in zoom so if you're on the zoom tab um you're going to see that i'm going to launch a shout it out and on my screen, we're gonna have some successes and challenges about your learning yesterday and how your work went yesterday. So on your Hello Smart tab, so if you go back to your, your Hello Smart tab, you're gonna notice you have a white box. And inside that white box, if you could tap and contribute one success you felt yesterday. So for example, I know myself yesterday, I was able to make some plans for next week and I felt very successful about that. Um, but I had a challenge. So in that white box, you can type a challenge, choose that category, and then go ahead and, and press submit there. And I know for myself, I had a challenge yesterday. I was getting distracted yesterday. You know, I tell you about my dog Lily all the time and she kept bothering me yesterday. So I felt really distracted. Um, so that's a challenge I know I felt yesterday. And Oh my goodness, it looks like someone else had a similar challenge yesterday. So once you submit your success and challenge, go ahead and come on back into Zoom so you can, we can all look at our responses here. Um, I turned the names off. You don't need to worry about your name being shown right now, but I'll go, go in and check later. So if, if I need to follow up with you and give you um, some props to your successes or maybe talk to you about your challenges, um, I might do that later. So let's see, it looks like, you know, we have some, some siblings that were bothering us, little brothers, um, some distractions, uh, dogs who wanted to play. That was my problem yesterday. Um, oh, someone got a new puppy, so very similar. Oh my goodness, we had so many distractions yesterday. Maybe trouble logging in or, or finding a quiet space to work. But, you know, it looks like we had some great successes too. So let's look through these. Someone got really organized with a schedule yesterday. Awesome. Turned in all of your assignments, maybe finished your work. Um, oh, we were able to get things done quickly because mom and dad were able to help yesterday. That's always helpful, right? When we have someone at home to help us. Um, starting to get the hang of all of this. This is all new learning at home, isn't it, friends? So that's good to hear. We're starting to get the hang of, of learning at home. 
Oh, and someone got out of those PJs. You know, sometimes that is the success for the day, right? Being able to change your clothes for the day. All right. Well, thank you all. We're going to keep moving on and we're going to start talking about today's lesson. So our focus of today, you can be looking at my screen in Zoom right now. Um, as we kind of go through our objectives, you can be looking at my screen. So our objective for today, we're going to really take some time to look at some of those strategies for management, self-management while we're learning at home. And learning at school and learning at home can be two very different things. Uh, there might be a different set of distractions like we saw in our shout it out. Maybe there's a dog at home or siblings that, that might also need to use your, your Chromebook or your computer. Um, but what are some things that we can focus on to help ourselves manage our time or our space so that maybe we can help um, prevent some of those distractions or find some workarounds? So we're going to talk about some of those self-management strategies today while we're learning at home. So maybe we can focus on our successes and, and look at some of those challenges and how we can, we can help ourselves there. All right, so let's keep going. I'm going to turn my screen again. You're going to notice uh, we're going to hop on to the next activity here. Now, this is an activity. We're going to do a rank order. So you can, again, you can be looking at my screen here in Zoom, so I'll give you some directions, and then you can go back in your Hello Smart Tabs. You can try this activity on your own. So you can try, just take a moment of self-reflection here. What are some things that are important to you while you're learning at home? I noticed in the shout it out that some people talked about organization. That was something that might be important. Maybe if you made a schedule, you feel organized. You know, working at home, maybe having that schedule is very important, but maybe you feel like you don't need as much teacher time while you're working at home. So that might be a little less important. So go ahead, take a moment, go back on over to your Hello Smart tab, your Smart Learning Suite Online tab, and complete your, your ranking. What are some of the important um, versus maybe not as important things? And you know, if you want right now, you can pop a message into our chat. If maybe you have a question about this activity, or maybe you want to tell us what is out of these different aspects of managing uh, yourself at home, maybe what's your most important that, that you're finding? Go ahead and, and you can pop that into the chat. We'll check in, um, see if anybody has a comment that they want to make. You can also, you can raise your hand if you want to um, talk to us right now, maybe unmute yourself. Okay, let's see in the chat here. Um, that, let's see, oh, a schedule is very important. So Luke was saying that that schedule is really important. So does anyone else have, have any other um, items that were just really important to you that you're finding in this list? Or, you know, maybe there's something I forgot to put in this list. Let's see, Casey says she wants to have some choices in how she learns and, and someone else is saying they need a quiet, oh, multiple people are saying a quiet spot is really important. So we're gonna go ahead, if you're looking at um, your screen there, um, you can be in your Hello Smart tab or the Zoom tab right now, but I am gonna change the page. We're gonna keep moving on. All right, so now I'm gonna change the page here. And today's task, we're really gonna look at building a toolbox for our learning. So on the next page, we're gonna break into, into, into our collaborative working groups. Uh, we're gonna have a workspace. We're in your teams. You're gonna create a toolbox for your learning. So think about, you might have a toolbox at home that, that maybe a parent or an adult at home has some tools. Maybe something breaks around the house or maybe you need to hang something and you need nails and a hammer. You know, each tool in that toolbox has a purpose and it helps us get the job done. I have an example here for you. I picked a wrench and then I said create a schedule. So I used my picture and then I used the, the text tool to then type uh, create a schedule. I picked blue. Maybe someone else in my group might pick red or green. So you might want to pick different colors within your group. Uh, when we get to the workspace, I'll show you that there's going to be some tools you can choose from. So you can choose a tool or find an image of a tool. And then you're going to type a strategy that we can use at home. So we can start building this toolbox together so we can feel successful learning at home. If you notice someone else's idea, you want to build upon that person's idea, you can add um, some additional text, or there's also a, a thumbs up picture. So if you feel like, hey, I agree with that person, you can um, give them a thumbs up. So when I go on to the next page, OK, 
okay? Why don't you head, make sure in that Hello Smart tab right now. So I'm gonna go to the next page. You're in your Hello Smart tab. We're gonna break into groups. And then I'll show you one of the workspaces so we can talk about it. But you can look at your workspace after we break into those groups. All right, so I'm gonna go on to the next page. Okay, we're gonna set up our workspace here. I see, uh, you know what, let's do two groups. We have nine people, so let's go ahead. We're gonna break into two groups right now. All right, fantastic. Um, okay, so I'm gonna start this workspace. And I'm just gonna pop into team one. So I'm looking at team one, but you could just be looking at your own. You're gonna notice you have four tool options. Maybe you wanna try the screwdriver or a wrench or a hammer. You can drag one of those tools into the middle of your page. There we go, awesome. Somebody's showing me that as an example. Now on the left side of your screen, you're gonna notice you have your ink, you have your text tool, so you can tap on that capital A and start typing your tools. Like I said, pick a color, maybe stick to your, to your color uh, for your tool when you type your idea. So maybe you're gonna type create a schedule. Maybe you have a different example of a way that we can learn at home. So we'll start looking for some of that text that you'll be typing into your workspace. And then you'll notice you have some those thumb up. So if you notice, hey, someone typed in, find a quiet spot. That's a tool I'm gonna use for my learning toolbox. Go ahead and drag up um, that thumb. So I'm gonna give you all just a minute to start working on this. Um, and oh, I already see in group one here, we have, um, there's, there's a hammer to hammer out of space and find some time to get work done. Maybe YouTube is gonna be a helpful tool in your toolbox because maybe you need some support, you're gonna find a video. Someone else is saying find that quiet space. So, you know, I agree with that. I'm gonna drag a thumb up here too. There we go, I agree. Find a quiet spot, maybe a daily schedule. All right, so I'm gonna check in on team two and see how they're doing. Team two, it looks like you, a screwdriver is going to be the feedback. You're going to need maybe some, some teacher feedback, right? You want to make sure you're on the right track. Um, a schedule is also important to someone in team two. And, yep, that's, that's great. So helpful. Time for brain breaks. I agree too. Lots of thumbs up on brain breaks, making sure we get up and moving around. So I am going to turn this lesson over to student pacing. So if you'd like to continue um, to work here for just a moment, you can. But I'm also going to take a moment and I'm going to talk about your next page that you can start working on. So I'm going to hop on into page eight right now. You can be looking at my screen in Zoom if you'd like to walk through this with me. Okay, so if you'd like to hop on over to Zoom. I'm going to show you this handout that we're working on next, okay? So here, let me show you an example, okay? So you have an opportunity to plan out your day. So maybe in the morning, you're going to work on maybe your science tasks, and then maybe take a break, and then work on math. And maybe you feel like you need to chunk your math into two sections. So you might work on math in the morning and in the afternoon. You also can pick an emoji to go with your day. So this morning, I was super excited to meet with you all. So this is gonna be my emoji for, for this morning. That might change. Maybe I'll feel a little frustrated later, but right now I'm so super excited to be here with you. And then down here, what is on your mind? So maybe you're gonna add a note or a question. Uh, maybe you have a question for me and I can type a note back to you in this handout and you can come check it later. So this is something you can work on. Uh, during the day today, and we'll check in on this tomorrow, and I'll check in on it later on today to see how you're doing. Um, and then just to let you know, our last page that we have, we have some choices of um, some tasks that you can work on. So for example, maybe you need to keep accountable. You're gonna show your schedule to someone at home. If you put five snack breaks on your planner page, well, maybe that's something you need to check with an adult at home because maybe that's not something that's reasonable, right? So ask her some feedback um, on your schedule and then have someone follow up with your plan there too. So, and maybe you need to find a quiet spot, walk around your house, find a quiet spot. So go ahead and pick one or two of these tasks a day. So you can set up your learning management strategies for yourself. And then one more thing I wanna let you know. 
Um, I am going to share out this lesson with you. So I'm going to put the link to this lesson in the chat for you. So you can come back and work on it later. I'll also leave the lesson open for you so you can keep working on it. And I'll post the link to the chat uh, for your assignments for the day as well. You can keep working on this lesson. I'll share out the link in the chat for you and then also in our assignment for today. Uh, make sure you're taking a look at these task cards. So if you have any questions about those, I'll be here. But I am gonna stop the recording piece of this call for now. Um, but I just wanna thank you all for joining us today. And um, I'm here if you have any questions and thanks again everyone